Now look at this. God gave Jesus a name. Yes, we all know that. God gave Jesus a name. But the question is, who is using the name? That's it. God can give you something because he intends to give it to others. Take for instance. Um, God can give you a car because he wants to give your family a car. That's it. As a pastor, God can give you a car because he wants to give your ministry a car. God can give you a house as a minister because he wants to give your fellowship a place for worship. But if you don't understand, you begin to guard it. So there are things that God gives to you, yet not for you. So you must understand. There are many things I have received in this life. I mean things that I even bought with my money. And after buying them, I knew that. God, God will wait for you to buy, collect receipt. Then as you are going on with joy, then you will hear the voice of God. Son, when you hear son, you say, oh my God, God knows me. You are still proud of the fact that you heard son. Say, I'm a child. I said, I used to tell people I'm a child of God. They don't believe. It's God saying son now. Yes, Lord. Say, my son, my son. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, this thing that you have bought now, take it to my son. Then God will mention the name. Take it to this person. Yes, he needs it urgently, more than you do. Thank you. And God, God will not even say thank you. That's all. That's, that will be the end of the conversation. Take this and give it to this. God, see, in my, I don't know how God deals with you. Are you there? But you will never hear God say thank you, my son. Never. You will never hear God say thank you. There are words that God does not use. Okay, don't worry. Maybe we should keep that teaching for another day. Are you there? You see, um, Jesus was given a name, but who is using the name? We are the one. It's a great lesson we must learn. Are you getting what I'm saying? So God can give you something because he wants to give it to others. So that intelligence he has given you, that you are now priding, no. You are priding yourself on it. No. It is to be able to help those that are weak. God gave you money. It's not for you. It's for others. Help others too. There are things that God will give you because he wants to give it to others. God gave you the car because he wants to give the brethren a car. So let them use it for the cause of the gospel. And the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. You must understand that God can give it to you, but not for you. So even when you bought it with your money, even when it is you that it was given to as a gift, you need to seek for the counsel of God. 